An early Renaissance painter created a three-part altarpiece with images from the Passion of Christ. Andrea Devani depicts Christ's agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, his crucifixion, and his descent into limbo. The altarpiece can be seen at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. We recently spoke with an art historian for her perspective on how this can help us all prepare for Easter. And joining us now to discuss this altarpiece is Dr. Jim Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Jim, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Talk you. to us a little bit about this, about this picture. It's, it's in three parts, and why is it so important for artists to depict this during Holy Week? Sure, thank you for having me. You know, Holy Week is the high point of the liturgical year. It's when the church recalls the Lord's passion, death, and resurrection, not only as past historical events, but as mysteries of faith by which the church shares in Jesus' passing from life to death to new life in God. Uh, since Holy Week is at the center of the Christian calendar, it's no surprise then that artists uh, have brought to life in color, line, form, and movement the meaning of these sacred events. And when you take a look at this, I mean, the detail of it, of, of Jesus praying at the rock, and yet you look up above him and a little, a little angel there. Talk to us about that. Sure. You know, this 14th century altarpiece is a visual catechesis that really invites the viewer to journey to walk with Jesus as he journeys to his cross and resurrection. It's the work of Andrea Devani, who is um, a gifted painter from Siena, and he assigns his name at the central, at the bottom of the central panel. If we read the painting from left to right, we begin with the left panel. We see Jesus, as you pointed out, uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, where he's praying in intense agony such that his sweat turns to blood, uh, drops of blood, and his eyes are raised to heaven where an angel holds a chalice mm -hmm. um, as Jesus prays, not my will, but yours be done. Um, below, we see Jesus finding his disciples asleep. And then in the far distance, soldiers approach to arrest Jesus as he is betrayed by Judas. Then we move to the center panel, where we see the crucifixion of Jesus with two thieves beside him. Mary, his mother, is overcome with anguish uh, as she falls to the ground, and St. John and Mary Magdalene uh, stand at the foot of the cross. And we also see soldiers casting lots for Jesus' garments. And then we see the good thief being carried by angels to paradise, as Jesus promised Amen. him, while soldiers break the legs of the other thief. And then close to Jesus is a centurion on horseback, praying, truly this man was innocent beyond doubt. And then finally, the right panel moves to Holy Saturday, where here we see Jesus now clothed in radiant light um, as he goes in search of the lost souls that he seeks to reconcile to God. Now Jesus is trampling death as he descends into hell, and he reaches out to hold the hand of Adam. And above him, God extends his right hand in blessing, and John the Baptist holds a banner that reads, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us all. Amen to that. What do you hope that people walk away from this? And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I look at it and, and I see so many different things and you start to study your own life and, and how is it that you're living your life for Christ? Is that is that what you hope that people walk away with this? Absolutely. You know, this Holy Week we're going to hear uh, gospel accounts of Jesus' passion, his death on the cross, his resurrection. And there are so many moments when we can enter into the mysteries of these sacred events. Um, and so the church really invites us um, to make the pattern of Jesus' dying and rising to new life mm. uh, the pattern of our own Christian life. And it's, uh, we are disciples. We have to continue that. We are the church. That's right. And this is an invitation I think the church invites us during Holy Week to really make that a reality. Well, Dr. Jim uh, Sullivan, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for your insight. You're most welcome.